Well, hi, everybody. I'd like to announce that I was just uh, uh, named a cabinet member to the new president of the United States. I will be the official chairman of shaving for the United States. So I really appreciate the honor. I'm going to have to decline because uh, there's no such thing. All right. Hey, we're going to shave today. I don't know. We're going to shave today, folks. That's what we're going to do. That's right. I'm gonna, I just took a shower. I did my hair. I'm going to put some hot water on my face. Well, no, you know, I'm going to wait on that because I'm going to show you the... Uh, the razor I'm going to use today is one that just arrived in the mail yesterday for my friends over at the Wet Shaving Club, the Wet Shave Club. It's Murica. This one's called Murica. Look at this. It's got a little American flag right on top. You know why it's called Murica? Because it was made at a little uh, factory, not even a factory, a shop, a machine shop in Pennsylvania by, uh, by a guy and his team there. So this is handmade, hand-milled stainless steel, 316 stainless steel. I'll tell you more about it later. This is not the video I'm gonna be talking about it, comparing it to the other stuff. But I just got, and I wanna try it out. It's a three-piece razor. It's heavy. Let me show you, see that little thing on the end? See that little dot? I'm gonna show you what that is, if you don't already know. So three-piece razor, handmade in Pennsylvania. Pennsylvania, ooh three-piece and I like it when the cap has the little guides because it's a lot easier for me to put the blade on and the blade I'm going to use today is the Dorco. Dorco. Perfect for me. Dorco. Oh let me show you what the little thing is here. Check it out. It's a magnet. It's a magnet. So I don't know how many times I've dropped a blade into the sink that I've already unwrapped and I can't pick it up. That's what this thing's for. Say that's the sink. Here's a blade. There you go. You can just grab by the ends. How cool is that? What a great little idea. What a cool idea. All right, Dorco blade, we're gonna unwrap it. It's got an outer package and a little inner package. Stainless steel, there we go. Now here's the cap of the Merca. God bless Merca. All right, and then I'll put the bottom on. I have not used this yet, it is still bone dry. It hasn't even gotten wet yet. Straight from Pennsylvania. All right, there we go. Let me, I'm gonna not tighten it all the way, I wanna see. Oh yeah, that perfect, perfect, perfect. Does it hang over the edges? No, it doesn't, I love it. I love it when they have, when the head of the razor just hangs over enough so you can't feel the blade on the end, so you don't accidentally, you know, when you're trying to tighten this thing down, sometimes you gotta use a towel or whatever, but when you don't feel the edges, then you can do it. Let me show you the size. It's about, here's my fat boy, Grandpa Grungy, so it's about the same size. It's, I think it's three ounces. I'll, I'll tell you all that later. This is just, I'm gonna shave with it today and I'm gonna see what it's like. All right, took a shower, did my hair. I'm gonna put some hot water on my face. I'm gonna lather up today with one I haven't used in a while. Die Verhulte Hand. That's how I pronounce it anyway. You guys know, oh, it smells so good. So clean and soapy and it's a puck. It's a hard puck and I'm gonna lather it up in my hand because I don't ever use bowls with this, uh, this black and red one that I got from DS Cosmetics a while back. I'm just trying to, I'm looking through the drawers, trying to find something new to shave with so I don't do the same old thing, you know, get tired. But I got something cool in the mail. If you follow me on Instagram, at Sinatra Lennon, you'll see little pictures I put up there every now and then. I don't do it a lot. What do, what do I look like? A young millennial? Do I, do I look like that to you? No, I don't. So I do it when I think of it, when I have something cool to do. So I'm gonna wash off the puck, put it back in. I'm not gonna waste this, I'm gonna take, oh, it smells so good. If you've never tried this soap before, try it if you can. Someone sent it to me, a, uh, a very friendly, friendly viewer, and it was just beautiful. I'm excited to try this. Uh, he was gonna, uh, Wet Shave Club, I did a video uh, comparing it to uh, it was like one of the Dollar Shave Clubs, because that's their deal, right? It's like a subscription service, but for safety razors, which is cool. And uh, since they don't, you know, since it's a small shop in Pennsylvania, they don't make, you know, it's not mass manufactured. So I've been waiting on it, and it finally arrived. So it's got little ridges there. It's got an indentation with more ridges, ridges there, so it's got a good grip. Uh, it's kind of a matte... Uh, gunmetal finish, which is kind of cool with the American flag. Can you see it? I'm trying to. Yeah. Anyway, that's the American flag. It kind of looks like the patch on uh, Armed Services uniforms. Pardon me. Okay, now I got it wet. I dumped it down there in my little bowl, and I'm going to try it. It says it's supposed to be mild. I don't know. I haven't used it. So, got a Dorco in there. You 
You know, it's got a little bit of the feel of the Rockwell, which has a similar matte finish to it, so it's not slippery at all. It's got a very good grip. And all for uh, supporting any small businesses in uh, whatever country you're, you're in. And we like to support uh, American-made products here in the United States. You can't always, you know, shop exclusively that way. But when you can, it's always nice to help out. Especially when it's a small, you know, businessman or woman, you know, whatever. So it doesn't feel too mild, which is nice. And it doesn't feel aggressive at all. And I think, like I said, this does remind me of the Rockwell. I'll tell you all the details when I do the full thing, like when I compare it to another one. I was just too excited to want to try it. So I can't remember the price. It's, it's not cheap. I think it's like 89 bucks. So, I mean, that's nothing to sneeze about. But if it's handmade, hand machined, stainless steel, that thing's gonna last you for as long as you last. <laughs> I like the sound of it. It's got a little bit of a ring to it, like the guard. See the bottom of the guard is kind of square. Trying to, uh, I love that little magnet, that's so cool. I wish our coins were magnetic here in the States. You drop a quarter down the sink, you're not getting it out unless you take the sink apart. Speaking of that, I tried to repair the downstairs bathroom sink. I took, we had a leak, or no, it wasn't draining. And there was a little bit of a leak. All right, there's the first pass. All right, doing well, doing well. Got some more work to do. And I took apart all the pipes underneath the trap, all that stuff. There weren't any clogs in there. I installed the new, this is tool time now with me. Installed the new uh, sink and everything else. And uh, it just, I don't know what happened. So I got to call on a professional. It's something, must be something in the wall that's blocked. It went beyond my capacity to fix it. I've tried as I get older to do more things and fix more things around the house because kind of like these shaving videos for people that haven't shaved like this, um, you can learn a lot on YouTube. You can learn a lot. So it's very cool. So I suggest if you're a young man, young woman, middle-aged man, doesn't matter, doesn't matter how old you are, start learning how to fix things yourself. Because it feels so satisfying when you do. But also know when you should call a professional. That's what they're there for. They'll know just a little bit more than you did. And they'll be able to help you out. So this matte finish of the stainless steel has a satisfying drag to it. Like it's clinging to my face, you know? It's not like bumping across. It feels like it's holding it down, which is cool. And w which I kind of get that same feeling with the Rockwell. You can hear. Hear that? It does have a high pitch, like a little, like a ring to it. That's kind of cool. The things you notice when you stop and listen. I got a mail call this week. I got another. Oh, like I think I'm, I mentioned the <laughs> mentioned the dang Instagram earlier. I forgot to say what I was gonna say. I forgot to remember to forget. I got another vintage Barbasol tube from the '60s this time. And let me let me dry my hands before I do the third pass. Oh, it's doing well. It's doing a good job. <laughs> Look at this. See that? With menthol. Barbasol from the 60s. With menthol. I didn't even know they made it with menthol back then. Let me show you the tube. It's a little bit different than my other vintage ones. I try not to break it. All right. Get that out here. Look at that. Look at that. Isn't that cool? Not used. It's got a little bit of a, like a crease down here, but it has not been used ever. So I'm going to have to use that sometime soon. It still smells perfectly fine. It smells like the old one from the 50s, that kind of more medicinal Barbasol smell. So I'm excited to try that out. So now I've got three little vintage tubes and like three or four cans of vintage. I'm, I'm, getting, I'm amassing quite a little collection here. 
So if, uh, if I ever open a Barbasol museum, be sure to come down. Uh, hours were open uh, 9 to 5, Monday through Friday. 9 to 7 on the weekends. So I'll see you here <laughs> in the fictional future. All right, here we go. Third pass. I put some more water up in case you didn't notice. That way things glide easily. Mmm, man, this the Verhulda Han smells so good. It's just a clean, vibrant soap. Like just the way soap should smell, like a shaving soap. That's what you want. That's what you get with this. And I think it's cheap. It's cheap as chips, as they say. Oh, also, speaking of that, uh, the, the uh, contest is still open as of today. It's January 21st, 2021. 12121 21 for the twig razor that I'll be giving away. Let me show you the box again. This and the, it comes with the blades and the blade bank. Oh no, I've got water. And uh, so I'll be giving that away next week, next Monday. So all you gotta do, go to my last video, not this video, go to my last one where I shaved with the twig and say, hey, I want the twig. And I've had like 700 entries or so, I think. A lot of people have entered. And some of you have done some really funny comments, like calling it Twiggy, like from the 60s, or somebody mentioned Twig and Berries. You, yeah, you people in the UK know what I'm talking about. So, somebody, I think my favorite was, they said, I want to get Twiggy with it. So, Will Smith, getting Twiggy with it. Leaf Shave Company might want to use that. Ha na 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 getting Twiggy with it. No, no, no. That's terrible. Don't do that. But that was funny. I like that one. I didn't like my song, but I like the comment. Yeah, so this razor has a... A grippy, dry feel, as you, but not in a bad way. It feels like I have ultimate control over it, which is kind of cool. But I'll learn more about it because I don't know that much about it and all the different things I've forgotten. So I'll tell you that whenever I do the review of it. Stay tuned for that. Stay tuned for me using different vintages of Barbasol from the 40s, 50s, 60s, 70s, 80s, 90s, and tomorrow. All right, getting under the nostrils here. It's a nice thin head, so it's easy to maneuver in tight spaces. Might be a good head shaver. But I like a razor with a thin head. All right, I'm gonna put some water on my face and then I'll feel for any spots I might have missed because it's always the same spots, it's always here. Yeah. I did pretty well. You can hear it, hear that? Oh, this is good. Good razor. Like I said, not cheap, but you get what you pay for. And you get handmade in America, which I like. All right, don't overshave. I did the, uh, I felt like I'd overshaved with a twig the other day when I was so excited. And so I uh, just did a um, electric razor uh, shave yesterday. Well, there you go, America. More details on this later. Very good, very fine shave. Cold water. And then, ooh, that's cold. Oh, I forgot to use this. I was gonna use the cube from Phoenix Shaving. Phoenix Artisan Accoutrements. You know, this menthol pre-shave cube. I had it out and I forgot it. I'm a dumb dumb. Mm. But I will remedy that with alcohol. I mean, alcohol. <laughs> <laughs> Remedy everything with a little alcohol. No, I'm gonna. <laughs> menthol is what I meant, but there is alcohol in here. Cold fusion, aftershave, wet the face up there in Huntington, New York. Shake well, yes, definitely shake well, because there are some crystals in there that will get you. All right, I'm just gonna put a little bit, because this stuff makes me cry. Mmm. Ah. Donald Youngner up there at Wet the Face. Making some good stuff, but I need to try some other uh, stuff from him. All I've had is the cold fusion. Woo! That's the ultimate. That's the ultimate. The ultimate menthol. Aftershave, definitely. Holy guacamole. 
Maybe I'm glad I didn't use the cube because this thing is mentholated like crazy too. And then I got the Barbasol from the 60s with menthol. Oh, oh that tingle. Tingle's so good. All right, everybody. <laughs> Remember, if you want to enter to win the Twig Razor, all this stuff, I'll show it to you one more time. All this stuff. You get the stand, the razor, the blades, 50 blades in the blade bank. Go to my other, my previous one about the leaf and say, I want to win the Twig. Or, yeah, I want to win the Twig. It was the Twig Razor. Uh, anyway, that's it. Good luck. I will see you all on Monday and I will come out with a, a, a the winner video. I'll film myself using the random YouTube comment picker and then uh, I'll send it out to you wherever you are in the world. All right. All right, everybody. See ya.